phone was it got reset the other day because uh, we were recording something else. No, there was volume. You have volume on your computer, but there was no audio being sent to your volume. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. So Denny did a video on Friday. Then he left for the weekend. And he came back. And now the walls look like this. Yes, I didn't know where I was. I was in the wrong room, I thought. Yeah, we're, well, we're still in the same room, but we are, we're looking different. What it do you looks guys, different. It's going to keep getting um, some changes to it. We're going to add some different shelves and add some other lighting kind of behind us. But we went for a different kind of mood to see what it felt like. I think it looks great myself. Yeah, myself. I think it's I think it's going to help keep some distractions down to where we can be focused on what's going on on here. A little less clutter going on back there. And then just some mood lighting that happens back there just for yeah. just for fun. Just for ambiance. I was going to say for funsies, but <laughs> ambiance is probably better. So we were trying to figure out what the name of this case was. So we're going to be talking about the takedown shotgun case that you did for Rusty. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be talking about here. Not really doing any crafting, mostly just talking. Yeah, we're just going to talk about it. Actually, this originally started, we were going to do a pattern pack of, of three shotgun cases. Uh, two of them were going to be uh, like a, a scabbard, a saddle scabbard yeah. or something you could carry on an ATV. And then he had this really nice over and under shotgun that takes down into three pieces. You can see that. I have not had time yet to move our camera, so but, uh, we're hanging off the table here. <laughs> but that's what this one is, and that's kind of what we're going to try and highlight a little bit today. Yeah, so we'll talk as much as we can. I could move the table back, but then the yeah. lighting will be a little yeah. bit different. Somebody says yeah. we look we look blurry. Well, I said. feel blurry, so yeah, we look as we feel. Good. <laughs> so Rusty asked you to do this for a shotgun that he had? Yeah, it's a, a, a three-piece over and under shotgun. Uh, the barrel is one piece, and the, the barrel and the action is one piece, and then the stock and the forearm is the third piece. Well, open it up and take a look and at it. Originally, I thought, I've got to play a prank on him, and I'm going to inlay it with a piece of junk on it. But it turned out looking pretty neat. So, yeah. But anyway, we'll look at the inside of this thing and we'll show you what it actually is. Hold on, I'm getting the sound adjusted over here, so just bear with me. Anyway, that's the shotgun in all three pieces. I'll go to the other end. Get the cable out. Yeah. This is it. In the three pieces, it just I've got some foam rubber in here that I cut out. And some uh, velvet to line it all with. And I think it came out pretty good. Hold on, I'm, 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 I'm holding on. I'm holding on, you guys. We stole your shotgun back again. I see. I see. It's all right. <coughs> we got to talk about it. Yeah, we were we were gonna tell people all about it right and, and where you stole the gun and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't show them the serial. Well, the, the serial numbers are filed <laughs> off, so it's yeah, it's legal now. Okay, so hopefully that'll fix a little bit of the volume. Oh, I bet you I know what I could do. Will you mute mute it just a second, Justin? Does that pick us up a little bit better? Oh, good. I, I made some gain adjustments, and I also adjusted our microphone down a little bit because it was shooting over the top of our heads. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of shooting, <laughs> well, what do you want to what do you want to well, talk about? It? Well, I don't know. Uh, you want to take it out and talk about the construction part of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. That's probably a good place to start. Oh, Justin, we hit the on switch. Well, yeah, I 
Yeah, when it all started out, I thought this will be a pretty simple process. Yeah. And it is, now that it's all over. <laughs> but uh, while I was doing it, it seemed it got a little more complicated, it seemed like. But it's just one solid piece of leather, mm -hmm. you know. This part of this part of it's the one, one whole piece here. And I made a pattern for it. Maybe if I showed the pattern and everything, oh, okay. people would kind of understand where I'm coming from. And I just laid the pieces out and and uh, laid out how I was going to have them uh, sitting in the case itself. So you took the actual pieces of the gun, laid them out on a piece of paper, and yeah. That's what this is. Those those are the three pieces, and I laid it out that way. I knew how big, how long, and uh, wide that I wanted to make it. Yeah. And I made the spine about an inch and three quarter, if I remember right. And it just folds over like that. Then of course we've got a handle for it. And the handle was uh, I made these handles out of a piece of rolled leather, so they're rolled round. I shaped them on a rain rounder. This, this piece of leather started out to be an inch and three, or an inch and a quarter wide. And I forget how long it is. I've got the pattern here. Oh, for your handle? Yeah, for, okay. the, for the length of the handle. Yeah. But then I just, uh, I just rolled, or folded and cemented this handle in half, all except for the last, about uh, two inches on each side. Mm -hmm. I stitched that. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I just ran a stitch line along here. I don't know if that overhead will show it or not yeah. on there. But then I trimmed it off pretty close to the stitch line. And I have a rain rounder myself, which I ran it through to make it round. But you can also just take the, the leather and roll it on the table and mm -hmm. round it out pretty nice, too. So you're about 30 inches long there. And... Uh, two and a quarter, or uh, sorry, yeah, two foot and one quarter. It's probably two feet even, because the the lacing takes it a little over an eighth of an inch. Oh yeah, because I'm hooked on the, the uh, yeah, yeah. I'm hooked on over there. Yeah, we need to do a video on the rain rounder. It's it's, it's on the it's on the agenda agenda on the schedule <laughs> for doing. So you, that's how you laid it out. You use the actual pieces to make your pattern. Yeah, it's the best the bet. Yeah. I, <laughs> you know, and if I was doing it over, when you do something, a prototype, you always find stuff that you wish you had done right. a little different. Yeah. I wish I would have made it about an inch longer. Okay. And left a little more on each end and about to probably an inch wider, too, because I'm, I'm pretty close here. Your foam gets um, kind of... Yeah. But it still, it works out nicely. You know, everything fits in there nice, and it shuts up. I don't know. It just seemed like if I It would've... shuts up better than I do? <laughs> Most of the time, yeah. <laughs> but uh, then after I had everything cut out, I I made this. I measured for the uh, gusset. And yeah. I, I forget exactly how long I made the gusset. Maybe I wrote it down here somewhere. Yes, I did. The gusset I made 58 inches long. The zipper I made fifty six inches. Okay. So it's the gusset is two and a quarter inches wide. I yeah. made a fifty six inch zipper and just split the difference on each. So and here's the rest of kind of your gusset part to end your to be able to end your zipper, right? Right. Yeah. We get that overhead there, right. Justin. So this is why the gusset part of it was fifty eight and then you got two inches to fold back over yeah. to stop your zipper. Yeah, and a lot of people would stop their zipper right here, but if if the longer zipper allows you to actually open it, fold down it flat, flat like this. Yeah. Otherwise, if it doesn't, it's going to like rock yeah, back and forth. Right. Right. Well, let's talk about uh, what foam did you use? I think it was an open cell. Yeah, it's an open cell foam. It's about an inch thick. Yeah. Uh, it's some stuff we had around here. We used it in our uh, our clicker die drawers. Yeah. So the or. If you saw on some of the older videos of the sewing machine, we had a little insert in our little drawer handle where little pieces go, where everything has its little spot to go. Same idea for this. So you just laid your 
laid your pieces out on it and traced around them. I traced around it and then just used a really sharp straight knife and cut those out. And I cut everything just a, a hair big, you mm -hmm. know, because I didn't want it to fit real snug. But yeah. I didn't want it to be sloppy either. So so it's all fairly close to. Well, you got to leave a little bit of room for the velveteen that you right. that you put on there. Right. So it starts to fit really pretty well when all of that is back yeah. in there. And the idea, the idea of putting that on there, I just when I when I laid this felt on there or this velvet on there, mm -hmm. all I did was cement the bottom. Of okay. This. I didn't cement the top. I, I was feeling like right here it still yeah. it has a little bit of movement, yeah. but these folds, these folds that are in it act really nice with it. Yeah. They look it just adds to it. Yeah, I just I just glued these the bottom of each piece mm -hmm. and then I would take the, the actual gun part, set in there and I just pushed it down and it caused it to wrinkle mm. around here. But it but you know this is a, a kind of a wrinkled finished velvet anyway. Yeah. So so it made it look pretty good. But uh, I did that all the way around. I'm sorry you can't hear Ron. I can't hear very well either, Ron. Yeah, I mean, hopefully everybody else can hear. What does a what does one get? Where does one get a piece of foam? Uh, you can use any foam. You could use styrofoam if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I I think a, a piece of open cell uh, rubber foam would probably be a little more durable. Yeah, Granger will have some. Uh, probably Menards or any Lowe's. Home Improvement Store will have some foam that's in there. You know, and we even sell some quarter-inch foam. Yeah. And if you stack some of that, stack to four pieces of that, you would have an inch inch of foam rubber. Yeah. That you, would work you also. U-Line, I think, is where we got the stuff for that, maybe. I'm not really for sure. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else seems but, to be. But anywhere you can find a piece of foam rubber, you know. Uh, did we talk about what leather we used on the outside? I used I used uh, about a, a five to six or a four to five ounce uh, shaft leather for the uh, for the gusset for the gusset and I used a six to seven ounce leather for the actual uh, veg tan case Herm leather. veg tan Herman oak yes veg tan Her Herman oak and, and after then, I cut it and I of course I tooled it a little bit mm -hmm. and I put a skunk on it put a skunk on it that was supposed to be a joke on. Rusty, but he but then, liked it, and that took all the fun out of it. Yeah, it was no longer no. a joke. <laughs> we did smell it. Yeah. It does still have some smell. It what? Does, maybe to you. What's shaft leather? Uh, uh, leather that you make shafts with? Just a chrome tan leather. Uh, you can use an oil tan. or. A... It, it has a pebble grain on it. Uh, it's just a nice kind of flexible leather that, yeah. that has... Minimal, I guess, minimal body to it. Yeah, uh, it's probably been tumbled. Yeah, upholstery leather yeah. will work. You know, any any type of uh, a chrome tan leather. You know, which is a, a lighter weight. You know, about a four to five ounce is what you want. If you have much heavier than that, it's going to be hard to make your corners and that kind of thing. So you got all that done. Did you? When did you lace? After your I had that was the very last. Part of the job. So the tooling part, how long did it take you to knock uh, those tools in there? Knock these tools. At first I thought, well, I could flower stamp this. Then I thought, no, that'll take forever. So I decided I would uh, do a set stamp on it, and I yeah. used this kind of a shell stamp. And that took about as long as a flower stamp would. Because <laughs> uh, I, Barry King? Uh, no, I think this is actually an old, uh, either a Midas tool or a basic tool. Yeah. But it's uh, Barry King makes one that is very, very similar. To yeah, I think Sergei, we have a couple Sergeys yeah. that also mm -hmm. look pretty close. Yeah. That's what I did on this side. Then on this side, I just did a cross crosshatch pattern. and uh, So you cut, you cut. here's a line that you cut in. And, yeah, I didn't actually cut Well, I mean, cut drew, it. drew I, in. I tickled them in. Tickled them in. I used a tickler. Just which, tickled which, them uh, in. Which is, some people call a creaser. Is there a pattern available? Yes. This is about five eighths of an inch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, sure there Dean, is no pattern available. I'm sure Dean meant the whole shooting match, but we'll probably no. we'll probably convert this into uh, a purchasable pattern. Yeah, that that was the idea. We would make a pattern pack of this and two and two actual scabbard type cases. Are those different than the? 
The other ones that are in the rifle and shotgun one? These are both for shotgun. One's for a single shot shotgun and the other is for this this same uh, uh, over and under shotgun. You know, and the only difference really is one's a bit wider than the other. And this is a 28 inch barrel, the single shot shotgun that I used to make the pattern off of there was a 30 inch barrel. Yeah. But those are all pretty easily alterable, yeah. you know. Just makes um, the pattern a little longer or however wider. Let's see. Michael says, please talk about the method of knot used for the tail attached to the handle ring. Oh, right here? I just... Looks I, like some sinew? Yes, this is artificial sinew. I just took a, a piece of, a strip of leather about a half or five-eighths of an inch wide, just a loop. And, and wrapped it on there with this artificial sinew, tied it off. And then I, this is just a, a wide piece of leather. It's a, what would you say that is? Two inches? I would say it's about two inches, about two, and a, two, two and a half, two and a quarter. Yeah. And just wrapped it around there. And I, I made it so that the seam was on the back side so it wouldn't be too awful visible. Then I just uh, kind of did a hangman's knot yeah. on this, just wrapped each end of it. Key ring on it. Mm -hmm. So then your handles are just a slot and then riveted in? Yeah, slot and one rivet, yes. But they're cemented also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cemented down here, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that, that velvet kind of covers. Did you put another cover? Yeah, well, what I was getting ready to say, okay. after I after I uh, did all my stamping and everything, I cut myself a piece of Bontex. And I used pretty heavy Bontex because I wanted this to be fairly stiff. And I cemented it to this side and I cemented another one to this side mm -hmm. and I took a separate piece and cemented along this uh, spine you know so that gave way I have a gave that a fold way points. I have a fold point yes and I also took the I was going to say tickler but no one seems to know what that is the creaser and ran down on each uh, mm -hmm. on each fold point that sort of uh, weakens the leather relaxes it right there you know, I didn't actually cut a channel or anything. A lot of hmm. people will do that. If you use a real heavy leather, you would probably need to cut a channel if you wanted it pretty tight to hold the leather closely. The way I did it with just the three pieces of Bontex made a pretty good fold point. Too. As you can see, it's it's fairly square. Back yeah, there, we have what four, maybe four different weights of Bontex now that you can get. Yeah, different thicknesses of it. If you need a little, something a little more rigid to to stiffen up your leather. Yeah. Great, great leather, leather stiffener. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. I wanted this. I wanted to stiffen this up a little bit. So mm -hmm. that's the reason I used the Bontex. I could have used a heavier leather mm -hmm. to do it with, but that would have added more weight. The Bontex doesn't add much. Weight. Yeah, even if you put on the other side of it of using a, a leather on the inside to add rigidity, you're adding a lot more weight than Bontex would. Right. But with the Bontex, and I could have also used like a suede leather for the lining here, mm -hmm. but that would have added more weight. Plus, we don't have used velvet, red velvet's kind of pretty. When's the last time that you used a velveteen? Would it have been that guitar case? I think so. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I used purple velvet then, mm -hmm. but that was just regular velvet, like I got it at fabrics. Oh, and this is a velveteen that we we do sell this here. Pretty neat. We have several different colors. I'm not sure what all of them. So other than making it a little bit longer and a little bit wider, what else would you what else would you say would be your def oh. design flaws that you would fix on the next go round? Uh, I don't know. I don't know that I would really do anything different. Just a little bit bigger think, to yeah, just a hair hair bigger too, so so that I had a little more rigidity around the mm -hmm. outside. And the and the two ends. This foam helps out just because it's a a little bit thicker foam, but I could see where it could be a problem if your foam's not holding on because that's pretty. I mean, that little g gap that's there is what five eighths of an inch or so. Yeah, and on the ends, that's that's where it's. A, yeah, your that barrel is within within a an inch, a half an inch of being on yeah. the outside of the case. Yeah. But anyway, after I got all the foam and everything in and, and the velvet on and the shotgun's parts fit, then I took everything, all the 
shotgun back out and I just uh, did a double loop lace all around the edge. You could, you wouldn't have to lace it, you could stitch it, but uh, you know, then you would have a, a raw edge to finish. And I like the looks of the lace edge. Plus, Plus you can lace. Plus I can lace. How long did it take you to lace this whole uh, thing? I probably had uh, five or six hours of lacing this. Maybe yeah. maybe eight. I don't know. I laced on it two different days, but I'm not sure how much time I spent each day. Yeah. Let's see. Montex is not really cardboard. It's not corrugated or whatever. They yeah, call it's it. not corrugated. It's it's just you can use a, a heavy poster board. Any anything that's uh, stiff and pliable, and, and you don't want it too awful thick. How know? does that? How does stiff and pliable work? You don't want it brittle. Yeah, there you go. You don't want it brittle. So it it will bend and not break. Yeah. And a lot of people don't like the Bontex because they feel like it, if they bend it, then that bend will always be there. But my advice is don't bend it. Yeah, right. You know, this, I've had a, a, a portfolio that I have some photographs in that I've had for 20 years that I've just tipped with Bontex. Still just good as the day that I built it. Yeah. You know. I'm trying to read the Twitch chats way over there right now, and they're freaking out because I'm not answering. I need to turn my screen just a little bit so I can read them. Oh, I always ignore Twitch, so it's okay. Nothing new. <laughs> well, what else? What well, else is any about this case? Well, I don't know. I I was gonna I was gonna machine stitch around this inlay. I just did a little buck but, stitch on there. But I ended up buck stitching it because I was yeah. I was gonna double loop lace the outside, so I used a, a buck stitch to to uh, attach the inlay. And the inlay was no big deal, you know. I just cut the cut this oval a bit smaller than the piece of hide that I had. The skunk hide was probably oh two and a half, three feet long overall when I first started, but I had to cut off the head and the, the back end and, and trim up the two sides. So this is what I end up ended up with as far as a real nice part of the hide. That's why I just made it that size, right? You know. But uh, an inlay is pretty simple to do. I just I just cemented this hide to a piece of Bontex also. Okay. And then cemented the Bontex to this side. So actually, if the skunk area has two pieces of Bontex on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it ha actually has two pieces. I'd forgotten all about that. Yeah. Let's see. Would you consider adding a box lid in with the case for... Say chokes. chokes or a choke wrench. Sure, sure. You could do anything you wanted to. You know, you you've got some space here. If you made it a bit wider, you could end up with a bit more space. Yeah, there you got a nice a, little spot. A nice spot, spot down here. You could do it. You're just gonna cut cut your foam out there. Yeah, and then make a lid that fits down over it. Sure. Would you mold it, or would you do like a French French seam or whatever they call it, where you We'd have leather that goes like this, and it goes piece go slides down in the slot. I wouldn't actually make a box. I would just make a slot for each for each piece. Oh, okay. You know, and just set them in there. You could make a box if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I think that would be extra work. But, you know, plus you wouldn't know what you had till you open the box. Right. This way, you open the lid, and, and you've got three pieces of the shotgun, and and all your yeah, like what's on the options, you know. On the guitar case, speaking of box or a lid, you did, oh, normally where the little, where the neck is. Yeah, they call it a gig box. Yeah, the little know. gig box thing. Yeah. And that was just a closed, closed lid thing. Yeah, right I, there. yeah, I just opened and closed like that. Could you use foam flooring stuff? I don't know what foam flooring stuff is, unless it's like the stuff you lay down under laminate. That's going to be way too thin. I'm sure you could. If, yeah. If, if it comes thick it enough. Up, if you stacked it up. Yeah thick enough you know the deal was i wanted it to be about the same thickness as as the shotgun parts mm -hmm. you know which is a little over an inch 
you know, if you if you were here and could see this, this is a bit higher than this. This is an inch wide. This is probably an inch and a quarter, you know, at the most. If you look at mm. from here to here, yeah. probably an inch and a quarter. That's kind of your highest point. Yeah, of that'll it. that'll be your highest point for for this. But you know, when you're doing something like this, you everything's going to be custom because you might have a three-piece takedown shotgun that's got a 30-inch barrel, or a 32-inch barrel, or a 26-inch barrel, <laughs> or somebody you know, could have sawn it off. Or you got or, a real short one. Yeah, or some other maker could have made one that was a bit thinner than this. You know. Yeah, don't saw off your shotgun. Yeah, it's you frowned shouldn't upon. Do that. Yeah, frowned upon. What do they call them? The feds? They don't like that. Yeah. That's the ATF shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> Is the new background from now on? What are we on? No. It's going to change. Still, yeah. But the, the rest of the parts have to come in for that. Life changes every day, folks. Yeah. We're hoping to keep the, the idea. Are you done with your case? And then we can talk about the studio sure. stuff. Um, but you don't have to be done with it. Well, we can talk about both. Talk both. Talk about the studio. You, okay, <laughs> you, you, I quizzed you all of your takedown shotgun case. How about you quiz me just, about the studio? Just what else do you have in mind back there? Well, our just idea was to keep it a, a little less cluttered back there, keep the stuff off the shelves, and we're going to make racks where the tools kind of go. So when we don't use them, this slot wall goes all the way to the floor. So we can hang the tools down low when we're not going to use them. If we are going to use them, then we can move them up. And then on the trading card days, R&D over there is making us a big panel that goes across. And so we'll be able to display all the, the trading, trading cards. Cool. And then we'll be able to put them down and, and keep them safe and not kind of just have them hang on the wall. Because it was starting to make them tilt over. Yeah, as they, they were, were getting misshapen. Yeah, curled so up. we'll keep them that way a little bit. But these shelves that are currently here are going to be... Um, Replaced with some shorter sh shelves. It's got some black brackets on it. I think we're going to do rough sawn walnut on there, which is kind of oil them and keep it kind of a dark look on there. And then set some stuff here with the on-air light. And then maybe another shelf that's a little bit lower and just kind of have different tiers of it and kind of a little bit offset. Not kind of mi not mirror each other like these right now kind of mirror each other. Yeah. But so we can keep stuff off of it. So what kind of stuff are you going to have on the shelves? Well, stuff that we've made. So we'll have a piece that, that we've made, and then maybe it'll sh shift to another shelf as we do the next project, then it takes place. Then as it f goes off so there, it, it either goes to retail or it goes to our giveaway pack. So it'll change from time to time. The stuff that's on the shelves yeah. will. Uh, there'll be kind of some constants that stay. Right now, one of the constants will stay was this. An inmate painted us this, this picture over that here. That is nice, too. It is very nice. Yeah. We can set it down here. You can see it a little bit closer. The on light, on air light will kind of stay there. There we go. It's funny. It's just got the little bit of canvas on there is making it just. Let me tilt it just. Oh a little. yeah. There, there we you go. Can see it? Yeah. That's beautiful. Man. beautiful. You did a really great job. That just showed up in the mail. I, I don't even think we knew it was coming. Um, the on-air light will stay up here. And then the shelves will have probably LED that run underneath the bottom of them. It'll just probably glow blue, maybe glow yellow, but we'll be able to switch it out. So each one will have it. And then uh, around around the logo, I I mounted it uh, with some, I cut some uh, copper pipe. So that to hold it off the wall as a as a oh, spacing, like and we're gonna put LED lights that go around that, so they may glow blue, they may glow yellow, they may glow white. I guess it depends on what we what we make them glow. I bought my little pickup used. Yeah. And it had a set of switches on the dashboard. They looked like factory switches, but uh -huh. they were they weren't. They were aftermarket. Yeah. Whoever put them in knew what they were doing. But one of them I could never figure out what it what it did. Yeah. And one night, I was just, I was driving home, stopped at a stoplight. For some reason, I pushed that switch. Yeah. And I have blue lights in my wheel wells. 
Oh. It's really cool. It's a hoopty. <laughs> She's, if you come to Springfield and you see a little truck rolling around with blue lights under it, it's Denny Love. My wife won't ever let me turn them on. Oh, uh, <laughs> she's embarrassed to be around you. I am embarrassed, too. Dean says, well, Springfield Leather, will we ever get a tool list from the advance? I was just talking about this morning that I needed to get out. And what did I say this morning to you? I said, if I don't get that out, Dean's yes. going to say yep. something. So it it will be... It will come out next week is a kitchen design. So that will kind of be done. There'll be some LED lights that go on there. And that's kind of the gist of what will go on um, back there. We're going to switch our over, over the headlights um, to something, probably some LEDs, so we're not so warm. So you can feel the heat coming off of them. Can you get that closer so even someone like me can read it? Move the monitor closer. Uh -huh. We can probably just put it right here, and then we just look straight up, and you can just read yeah, the monitor I, right there. I need a recliner. Right? <laughs> I need to figure out how to make the font bigger on it. I don't know how to do it. I, I don't know if that's an option. If I can do that, then that'll fix that problem. Yeah. I can just make the font bigger. Uh, so we brought our um, – we had stopped using our umbrellas because the white – the light gray background was just bouncing off a lot of light. You can see, even when we go to this overhead camera, when you see it, well, it's dark now, but I don't feel like we get we're getting more true colors. Yeah, I agree. On, on that, this looks that looks good. Because that gray is not bouncing and washing washing that back just a little bit. A lot of people out there, if if they didn't notice what you had before, and you're telling them about it, they won't realize it. But all of you guys that have been go back with and it, watch yeah. last week's video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see a difference. I can. Yeah, I guess we should have. I guess we should have looked and. Put a picture and put a side by side like a old, a old yeah. uh, the old studio. Uh, but we brought our umbrellas to back to light our face so that the main camera we can dim just a little bit to show to dim the background down just a little bit and kind of create a separation. There'll be some other lights that go up in the corners to add just some lighting on the back of us to separate us even still yet from it, and they may have a little color tint in it so we can match Denny's wheel wells. <laughs> <laughs> it got to be blue, bright blue. Okay. But this yeah. is really the whenever we you and I started doing recorded videos over in the other place, mm -hmm. it was a brown wall, but it had the big pillars on either side, and it always looked kind of the same. And then we moved over to here, and all we did different was go from a brown wall to a gray wall, same slat wall. Yeah, but moved, we just painted it painted it gray. Moved so, the same the same shelves over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we took those out of the room. Uh, over there in the corner, we're going to have uh, Granger sells a stand with a thick piece of granite. Um, on it, I don't know if they come a pair because we have a couple big thick pieces of granite. Uh, one was something that Jeff Jeff had over in his area, so yeah. it'd be cool to be able to get that in here. Yeah. We'll have a stand over there to knock holes and stuff, or to fully set something on a nice hard mm -hmm. piece yeah. of granite. Well, we won't have to set a small piece of granite on the table all the time. Yeah, tooling will still do over. Tooling will do over. Are you still here. planning on using that to round spool to make a tooling table out of? Uh, yeah, it's over. It's over in the. In the maintenance area. We were going to start working on it, and then they started cleaning out in the maintenance area, and then Liz and I got busy, so we haven't done it yet. Uh, let's see. What weight did you use for the outside? Five, five to six? Yeah, I think it's six, seven. Six, seven for right. the veg, vegetable tan Yeah. Uh, on either side and on the bottom, and then the gusset was... It's a four to five ounce. Four to five, shaft uh, leather, call it upholstery, upholstery leather. Upholstery leather. Yeah. You could probably do, could you do a deer skin? Uh, It'd be kind of stretchy for a zipper. Yeah, deer skin's pretty light, pretty pretty limber. For it. Yeah, and you could use an oil tan too. The worst part about oil tan, I love oil tan leather, especially with a lot of pull up on mm -hmm. it, but it doesn't glue to save your life. Yeah. So when you're gluing it on something like this with a tight corner, it makes it really tough to get everything right. But to, yeah. Have you ever done it with the Renia before? Uh, yeah, I've tried. I've tried everything. I think. Yeah. But this, I just put a double coat of cement on it. Mm -hmm. and you're when you're when you're doing something around like a gusset around a tight corner, you're always better off using two coats of cement. And Rusty explained this one time, and it really struck home to me. The first coat of cement that you put on soaks into the leather. 
the second coat of cement adheres to the first coat of cement. Yeah. So you're actually build, build doing, it up. So you're doing yourself some good. A lot of people think, well, that's just right. a thick coat of cement, but it's yeah. not. Let's see. We all are still wanting, still waiting on a chess rig holster. Oh, yeah. Uh, an Alaskan chest holster, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm wanting to do that, too. We'll, next year, you guys, yep. it's coming. It's Chevy coming. says the stuff on the shelves are a little dark, but overall looks very slick. Well, that's where the extra lights that are coming in are going to make the yeah. going to make the difference to be able to light the stuff on the shelf, because right now they, they are dark. Yeah. Um, they aren't. We're highlighted, but they aren't. Yeah. There's still some there's still some other tweaks that have to happen and get it right where we want it to, but we had to start somewhere and we thought Monday was the best day to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks great. I was completely surprised. Denny didn't know anything about no. it. I said, Hey, I got a surprise for you. It's in the studio and he goes, Let's go see it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm amazed. Did you want to talk about these other scabbard things that we got here? Uh, yeah, we can. Here, I'll give you your pattern down there. Here, I'll slide this I'll slide this over. Let's put this shotgun together. This shotgun? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll let you do that. I'll stand here and watch in amazement. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. That's pretty slick. All right. Shotguns in one piece now. This. It just, it's like a normal saddle scabbard would be that you'd mm -hmm. carry on a horse, but I added a little carry handle to it. And I also have a, a, a flap that covers the action on it. And there we have that. I said not John Wick fast, but still pretty good. Putting guns together. Oh, well, I didn't know I was supposed to be. You didn't know this was a race? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told Rusty when I first started this, I said, oh, you mean like a gangster would use. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about making it look like a violin. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would have been good. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what else? Well, I just, I had it. It was right on the tip of my tongue, and you said that now. It escaped me. Okay, so, yeah, we still don't know what else. Oh, well. I have to think about it again. But anyway, that's all there is to this. Uh, Rusty had an idea. There's a neat place you can, like, engrave that or mm -hmm. monogram it. You know. Leather, put a... Yeah. I guess you, we could make a Delrin stamp, and you could stamp it like that. If it's just a yeah. one-time stamp, that'd or, be a little bit cheaper. Or use a laser. Laser and it on there. You know this other one for the for that little finger shot shotgun. Of course, it's it's a vegetable tan leather, and you could actually carve it. So this one's just not, this other one's just a little bit taller to handle. Yeah, both this barrels. this one's a bit narrower, mm -hmm. and it's two inches longer because uh, for a thirty inch barrel, and this one's only. A Handles got hooked, and I didn't put a hand. I didn't put a carry handle on this one either. Yeah. So, but uh, these you could use on a on an ATV or a horse, or just use them to carry around. What else have we got coming for next year? Uh oh, on the end of your table, saddle bags, a saddle bag yes. pack. Yeah, we do need. For, I made I made a set of saddle bags several years ago, and the uh, the. Uh, Instructions for them got lost in the shuffle, so we've never mm -hmm. published them. To, but we need to redo those. I got three different saddlebags. How thick are the scabbards? The scabbards, uh, you want a nine to ten ounce leather or heavier. Uh, anything lighter is not going to have any body to it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people. I'm not saying you can't use a lighter weight leather. To make a really nice, durable scabbard, you you want something fairly heavy. So this three, this will probably be a three pack of patterns we need to get um, to to R and D so they can put it together. Yeah. 
but it's going to be a while. When a pattern pack you know, takes, there's more to it than just printing a picture of well, it that, on the paper. The interior part of it is that going to be something that we add to it, or you? It's so, I don't know. We we can we can give a pattern for for this particular gun. And that's where it gets so tough is yeah. that everybody's gun is just a little bit yeah. different. We can get you. That's why we need to make it a little bit bigger to fit other people's guns. Yeah. And you may have to adjust the pattern depending on how big your barrel length you is. You know, and that's people need to realize that on about everything that they make, every pattern pack that they get or something. You know, if you have an item that's a different size than what that pattern was made for, you're going to have to adjust that pattern. Uh, these are just line 24 snaps that are on there. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Yeah. On the saddlebags, are they going to be um, a fitted one or a square? I mean, a formed contour or square? I've got two. one that is a round bottom bag, and I've got two that are... One one is kind of a square, a ten by ten. Yeah. And another one that's a ten by twelve. Uh, keep in mind these these bags will be for actual saddles, not yeah, for actual saddle bags. Yeah. Not for motorcycle saddle bags. Right. We've got a set of motorcycle we saddle did, yeah. bag patterns. So. Yeah. Well, now can you take it apart and put it back to put it back in its case? We'll see. Okay. John Wick. How fast does John Wick do this? I bet you he doesn't look as good while he does it. That's right. that up and put a wrap on it. Put a wrap on it. Uh, yeah, and this zipper zips. It's two-way zipper. Two-way zipper. Yeah, zips from both ends. Zips and from I just both used ends. a, I think it's a number 10 YKK zipper. Yeah, on it. Nice and heavy. Yeah. $60. Wow, great deal. Thanks for the advice. What happened? Good job, Larry. I don't know what you did. Uh, let's see. What else? What else we got? Oh, Dean, we do have something we're going to mail off to you. So that's also something we need to do. When Liz gets back, we'll get in a box, get it shipped out to you. And we take no responsibility for anything. No, nope, never responsibility. That's why Liz is going to ship it. We are irresponsible. That's for sure. How did they let us both in the studio at one time? Is Justin supposed to be watching us? I think. If it yeah. get too crazy, is he just going to turn the cameras off? Yeah. <laughs> I hope he knows how. Friday, <laughs> why, how do you make a two-way zipper? Uh, just start your zipper at both ends. When you buy a zipper, like a just a random length zipper, mm -hmm. all you get is the zipper. Then you have to buy two zipper pulls. <laughs> And you just start one from each end. Start one from each end. So they got to face. So the yeah, the they need to face. They need to other. face each other. Yes. Otherwise, it will not be. Right. It'll be chasing each other around. Yeah. But it just zips both directions. Yeah, they wouldn't work the other way because they'd both be trying to close, and it couldn't yeah. open on a closed zipper. Yeah. I have I have several bags at home that are two way zippers, and I generally. Just, Zip them both to one side and, and make one way out of them. But to, oh, uh, Dean, it's the other Dean. So there's now two Dean and Dean. Oh, sorry, and, sorry, the Dean that we're. It'll be Zipper Dean. We're leaving you in the dark. Dean the Zipper Man. Zipper for him. I hope Zipper Dean is happy with our, our two way zipper. Yeah. Not only did he get one zipper, he got two. Friday. Which is not tomorrow, but the day after that. If Springfield is not fully covered in snow, and we're able to get in, we're going to have a trivia day. What are we going to do on the trivia well, day? Well, what? Do you want to show what we're going to give away? Sure, let's well, show it. Do we things. want to show show yeah. the stuff off? Let's show a few things. Yeah, yeah you, uh, you move your... It, it's 40 things. I have 40 things to give away, so you're going to have to move your... Gun parts. Oh my gosh. Are you done? My Elizabeth is here. Hello. Hello. Do you wanna you wanna join in our new set? Of course. No. Hi, Justin. 
you have to find your own chair because both those seats are taken. Seats. Well, we're going to show what we're going to give away on Friday. It looks better when people walk in front of the camera. That looks so good. Yeah. Denny, you look great. Oh, you. <laughs> and there's so much more room behind the table, I'm just going to push the whole cart back there. I'm going to go get some hot chocolate because I didn't want to drink any before I went to my dentist appointment, but I want some now. Uh, is there any rum shot up there for it? No? Still not. <laughs> Liz used to be so much fun. Look at all this room we got back here. No kidding, I like I <laughs> like the extra room. Yeah, that extra room is good. Man, I was hoping those hats were really cool. Do what? I was hoping that one hat was really cool. Oh, which one do you need to go to the employee giveaway? <laughs> the red one. This one? My head. This one? The only hat that ever fits my head. All right, here, come take it off the table and we'll put it on the, it, we'll give it, we'll put it on the Justin giveaway trivia. Justin, when did you start here? All answers are correct because I don't know the answer. All right, so we got a few, that hat's no longer available, um, but we got a hat, another hat. Oh, very nice. Um, look at that. Yeah. I'm going to give that away. Maybe we'll click out some parts for the ghosted. For the ghosted yeah. chess checkerboard. Yes, good idea. Uh, and then we got, you said that we could have sure. yours. Sure. So we're going to have Denny's uh, traveling chess checkerboard. A simple backpack. Very nice. That Anderson nice. came up with. Uh, you gonna, guys, these are a lot of really neat things that we're giving away. That's going to be in a pattern pack. Um. That. Fly rod case. A fly rod nice. case. Very nice. Wow. Yeah, Friday's going to be the trivia, so study up on your videos that we've done throughout uh, this, this one year. Anderson made, too. He did a really nice job. Yeah. Uh, and this is our messenger bag. Yeah. Messenger bag kit that we got. A couple pockets in there. What? What? How do you get something given away to you? Well, so we're going to be on all the platforms. You hold that bear. I'll hold this bear. We're going to be on the all. This bear could probably wrap its arms all the way around me. We're going to be on all the platforms on Friday. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Mm -hmm. And we'll do it like we did last year. So you'll have that light got turned. No wonder I look so much darker. I think I might have turned that. Hello. <sighs> Uh, so, you're going to be asked a question. We're going to say this question is just for Twitch this time. So, I'm only going to monitor that that chat. We'll monitor that chat. We'll ask the question. The first person to type it in will get to pick from the pile of the table. they got to be correct, right? They ha Yeah, they can't. Wrong answers don't count. Only right answers. Uh, so, there'll be, so, if I get it, if I'm the first person, I'll be able to pick from anything that's going to be on the table. And as we move along, things will disappear from it. And then, the, so the next question will be, okay, this question is only for YouTube. So the latency issue, that's how we solve the different people hearing the video at different times, because they're not all completely in sync. All right. Do you want to see the bells I, belts I took from you? Yeah. Wyoming uh, Ranger Belt, right? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the Wyoming that we did in a video. Um, a dark... I call it the dark edge, dark edge to belt, filigree belt, and then a lady's one inch. So the belts, he mostly made for me, so that one's a 35 inch. That one's 34, probably. 34. This one's a 34. And the Wyoming Ranger is? They're all about that. All about that 34, 34. to thir 36 inches 30, is what they'll all be. Yeah, somewhere around that range. So the belts. Uh, the hair on pioneer bag with a goat on it. Liz many messes. Has turned. Oh, is that I I made so many messes on the way down the Is stage. this where we started talking about the casket? Was the belt? I made 
Uh, tumbled honey. Have we got a pattern for that? <laughs> Denny only says this because they asked, somebody had asked in one of the shorts, and a, a cus, uh, another viewer goes, well, it looks about like uh, 12 inches wide by 18 inches tall, cut two rectangles, sew them together, Look turn it right heart. side out. He's like, there's your pattern. You're good. You can sit. You sit down. I'm okay. Uh, and then a woven little tote bag that's lined, a little green and brown. I think Melissa made that here. Which one? This is maybe the satchel, the satchel bag. Yeah. Out of some red and black that's really quite nice. Uh, nothing really on the inside of it. No pockets or anything. Yeah, just scooch, just scooch on it. Glad to go. My, I, have, I have a tall chair. I have a high chair. Plus, we can fit three chairs up here now. Yeah, yeah. this is good. Three. Come on over. Okay, thanks. Look, I'm on wheels. Talk. Spin that light in her face. Yeah, let's do that. Light her up. No. A trifold wallet with um, an arrow, arrowhead type of tooling to make kind of a basket wave. <laughs> It's like holding it up here like I normally <laughs> did, but it's all the way back here now. So that trifold wallet, crackled pink nose band, uh, a real case, oh, as a, opposed to an artificial case. Yeah, it's not a, it's not an artificial one. Uh, this was case. this was it's an a real case, an embossed belt that we did on the block painting. Yeah, block dyeing. Yeah, block dyeing, but I, we were actually painting with it. Uh, a f a fly, a fly tie lanyard thing or whatever. So you put it on your neck and you put your flies on. Oh, oh yeah, neat. So you just you just always have them there with you. Yeah, oh. and you made a bunch of those. He's like, I'm going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, a fly. Another fly wallet. Oh. Cool nice. little fly wallet. Yeah. Can't really see it because. Justin's doing other things. Can't, can't complain about this. This is decent hot chocolate. Looks good. Yeah. You made William's day by showing up. Yay! <laughs> Your day? Uh, William? <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Uh, a bifold, natural. Oh. You can stay on that camera, oh. Justin. Right. William Martin. Gator embossed brown. Oh, nice. Even if you bifold. have no money, you will feel rich. <laughs> This and one leathery. I this one I think we're gonna do as a pair. So Italian wallet kind of business card holders, and we'll just do it as a pair. Yeah. Uh, passport, passport holder, out of Italian veg. Oh, Italian veg biker wallet, the big, big version. And then ghosted, Italian biker wallet, the, oh, the small nice. version. Yeah. That's the blue. Uh, this was a YouTube short knife sheath that we did. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, cute. Yeah, somebody had commented on it. They thought it was cool, and we were going to give it to him, but he never responded Never responded back mm -hmm. to us, so now we're going to give it away to anyone else. Um, then this is the wilderness pouch oh, yeah. with a wax canvas. We had a blue one, but I don't know what happened with the the jean, the jean one. Buffalo Jean, I don't know what happened. What is a wilderness pouch? Oh, well, Denny, I'm glad you asked. So you can you can put it on your belt loop, uh -huh. and then you just roll it out, and now you've got a little oh, pouch. Oh, yeah. So like if Mary you find some cool rocks. Carry samples in it. You yes. Can, <laughs> you, can, you can get your rocks in there. You can put your mushrooms in there. Mary June would them, love that little bag. Take them to the spearmint station. And take them to the spearmint station. <laughs> I hope that you win this for your wife. I do, too. What's the spearmint station? Where they do experiments on stuff. Experiment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a set of the spearmint stitches. <laughs> I can't. Okay. <laughs> uh, the scabbard was nine, at, at least ten ounces. You don't want to go any less than ten ounces. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A four set of coasters. Oh, do people like your your gangster case? I hope so. And then the Gospodinia. No ill reviews anyway. The Gospodinia bag. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, and then the last thing that we'll probably give away 
on that. That'll just go for everybody. It'll be a free for all on the chat. Is the old. The camera is so zoomed in. <laughs> so is that one. <laughs> <laughs> is that better? That's better. Well, it's because we're like hanging out it's in our... the world here. The uh, old SLC wall apron yeah. will be a giveaway. That's what I got. That's the whole table of giveaways. That's a bunch of giveaways, you guys. I'm glad we did that. Now we made it an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we we're going to be short. Oh, so you will you will get to win one thing. One thing. Once you win, uh, we'll put your name on the list, and uh, you will have to play along and be nice and not put yourself in for another one, and hopefully we pay attention and go, oh, they've already won. Well, we have an Excel sheet where we put all the prizes so that then we can put the names of the prizes, and then we'll know. Oh, I didn't even say this one. We'll know. Anderson had made this. Oh, yeah, oh, I like that. Cute. Yeah, Anderson had made that, so that's going to be another little giveaway. Didn't do a video on it yet, but okay. a little a little yet. copper a little copper band. Very nice. Yeah, I thought that was really quite cool. That's it. That's the, that's Friday. Well, that's going to be fun. Yeah, I mean... I don't have a dentist appointment on Friday, so I will be here. Do we have a pattern? Yes. Yep, it's on the website. Did he, did he give you... No, I didn't need it. <laughs> My teeth are very good. Well, Except for that I don't floss. One win. So sometimes you I need, need a, floss. a little. They always say, you know, like, oh, it'd be good to floss. And I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, how are we going to uh, do that? How are we going to no, do that? <laughs> how are we going to do that for people that go from one platform to another? One total win or one win per platform? One total win, guys. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy with your essence. Don't like don't right. take your neighbors. This is free. This isn't like you're like buying live shopping leather. Or maybe everybody except for Heath will now win. It'll be <laughs> everybody that doesn't have a name of Heath is eligible to win. What is silly Heath? questions like that. <laughs> Just kidding, Heath. We like you. But that was pretty honoring. Yeah. You guys already started the smack talk. I wanted to school you two. <laughs> you still can. You can come up with the right answer before they do. Studied up. I'm studied up, kind of. I mean, if you've basically been here for most of the If you're good video, at answering questions quickly, you'll be fine. If you're bad at answering questions quickly, you may not be fine. <laughs> like, when was SLC yeah, founded? When was SLC founded? I know. Like, that would be a question. That is correct. Why isn't it on our side? What did I win? It's not on our logo. I'm on... You, you get want it? one of your I'm belts back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, went, I, I was like, I was like, I'm going to go get a couple of Denny's belts, because I know you've had quite the collection yeah, over there, because we make a lot of belts. I and and they come back, and I have, like, two handfuls, and I'm like, Tony, there's too many. I don't know. <laughs> so we took, like, eight of them. See, Latigo got it. Latigo got it right. Nineteen ninety nine. That was on last. Oh, that was the question that he won on last year. <laughs> oh, nice. Funny. So it'll be stuff like that. Uh, there'll be questions about some of the personalities that kind of hang out here. Um, how many does Denny have? How many? How many people does Tony talk to on a regular basis? Oh yeah, it's it's really Tony with the personalities. Tony has in, many. Innumerable. Numerable. <laughs> did you show off our painting? Yeah, I did. Oh, did you? Okay. Did you get the inmate's name? Nope. Okay. Did you tell him that it was an inmate? Yep. Isn't I that awesome, guys? I assumed that his initials have a J and a D in them, since it has a J and a D. Yeah, I think it was like Jed or Jeps or J It was different. Jeremiah? No. Delaney? Garrett? Jermaine. Jermaine Johnson? Jermaine I bet Jackson? That, I bet that is what. Jermaine Jackson, he's a person. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I'm not Googling anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Justin. We're not going to talk about that. Justin got a, got hey, a Google. Also, our sign isn't on, even though it's plugged in. I turned it off, Robert. Okay. Oh, look at that. He did. He did yeah. the double. Little, little, pretty twist little. it. 
did pr pretty stitching. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, I try to sing songs, and then Liz like, oh, you just touched a stove a 40-year-old or something like that. What did you say that one time? When I sang a song, you're like, oh, you just made every 40-year-old's day. And I was like, what the hell did that mean? <laughs> you your old Tony. <sighs> Tony, can we? Oh, just I'm going to wear my. Because yeah, I did a short on it. Oh. <laughs> I will wear uh, my hat. Will be worn on Friday. You can see it's part of the it's part of the set over there. Yeah. Where the mask is down over did there. Did you did you do their craft like thing like the rodeo? Did you go to Angola for the rodeo? It's amazing. <laughs> one of the girls that used to work here. So somebody in the chat splits two one four. Um. Yeah. So Emma has gone to the rodeo twice. She used to be our HR person here, worked in the office for a really long time. Like, if you called in the last probably 15 years, you probably talked to Emma at some point. But um, she went down there one time just to experience what the rodeo was like, and she just thought it was just, it was amazing. And then, like, the woodworking and the leather work and all the different things that they did where, down there. I can see where you're reading this question. What it's rodeo the are we talking about? Angola. The prison. Their rodeo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've heard of it. Yeah. You and Mary June should take a... Should go to the rodeo go at the, the prison. We're liable to go to the prison anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, would love your, it. They, your wilderness pouch. Yeah. <laughs> they're like a whole... Like, it's like a prison homestead. They do their own farming. It's it's basically just back to the colonies. <laughs> back to the colonies. Yeah. Just original United States. And tomorrow, Liz and I are going to debut it's not great. to the live it's shopping great. world our new picture that we have. Oh, yeah. Didn't Abigail already do that? The picture's out there, but it wasn't. Oh, not, was it? Not my did. edit. Not the, not the ALW. Pictures of edit. you guys? I'll show you when we get down here. Oh, yeah. We mean business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Diddy. It's serious. <laughs> I'm afraid. All right. What else? What? Oh, one other, one other thing we did, Denny. We changed the color of the, of the wrap on there. But look what else happened oh, underneath. Yeah. Do you see this? Oh, do you notice there's no knees stuck in, in here? We can sit up to the table. We can scoot all the way in. Oh. You know. So I'm I was about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> So, for some reason, our table had got spun in a circle, and, and the bracing was on the other side, and we wrapped this side with the fabric, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, well. Yeah, because well, I was could... telling Tony that, I was like, I really wish, I was like, can we take this brace? And I was like, is there something that we can do here? I was like, because Denny and I, like, it's always just kind of cumbersome. And like, I was like, I don't understand. Anyways. One side isn't supposed to have bracing on it. And then I looked through, and it was the side that we had wrapped with the fabric. <laughs> it was the skirt side. So we got that all fixed. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah, well, I'm glad you Hi, pointed Martin. it out that I had messed it William. up. You have Hi, William. You have two first names. Brian wants to know if there's live shopping. Yes. Yeah. There we'll, will be live shopping. We'll have things to sell. It might, it might could just be Bundy's. I don't know. Uh, we'll, there was some elephant over there. Gonna oh, be we have some shark. The... We have some cool shark skins. And Tony and I bought some fun leather just for the live shopping in some fun oil tan colors. <sighs> do you, do, do we want to show it? Do you? I think I have hey. to go to lunch now. But hey, can you, you can... bring something to me? Where's it at? I... It, it could be in purchasing. Oh, it's they in got purchasing. us some new Excel leather. Are you are you Sample on your way out? Or stock? Not stock, but just there's like two skins of each. Be... Yeah. Just say the the leather for Tony and Liz. Okay. Thanks. This video is going to have so much stuff going on in it. We're not going to be able to. Fit all of it in the title. And then I think are... this will just be called SLC Ramblin' Wednesday. Yeah. Ramblin' Wednesday. <laughs> we're trying to make it to the end of the year. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> just right now in this video. Right here. We're going to hang out at the end of the year. I'm so excited about I. You know what I, you know what I was really impressed with, Liz? <laughs> when we came in what? here and Denny came in and he goes, That looks so good. With all the gray hair that Denny has... He still thinks that this is hip and dope. 
<laughs> but look how well he stands out with his. He gray does. Hair. Look, I mean, like, he stands oh, out in the crowd anyway. Just blend right in. Oh god! Like you, you can't even. It's just my face. He's, he's just. But, uh, but Denny here. If anybody he's got has a halo. looked like Santa Claus before on this, <laughs> it is right here, folks. It's our own SLC Santa Claus. <laughs> oh man! You know, oh the daily. What was that? What was that thing that Darcy... Was it the Daily Citizen? What was the Citizen thing? Yeah, the Daily Citizen. Daily Citizen dot what? Dustin, you got a website for me? I don't know. Liz has it. They they put out the story on Jeff. Oh, really? Uh Yeah, I need to print it out so that you can read it. Yeah. I'll put it in real big font. That's stupid. Also, everybody yeah. in the Springfield area and probably in most of the United States, just be careful this week. Yep. I guess school's already canceled tomorrow. They d- yeah. they've been. I was figuring it was going to happen because Isabella, she's a freshman this year in her final. Which kudos to my daughter, her physics final. She's in all honors classes. Oh, right. Physics final, she got a hundred percent on. So that's pretty nice. cool. They moved everything up a day. Allison's party at schools today. Okay, another little bit of. Music oh wait, trivia. hold on. Robert has a real question. Oh no, it's going to be lost in this video now. Where would you put a handle on the scope scabbard? The scope scabbard that we do have. Would you put a handle on it? Yeah, you can. Uh yeah. Uh, if you put you'd it on there, it, you'd want it to be back towards the action, back towards the back. Find your find your balance point yeah. on it, because. Because a, a rifle or a shotgun are really heavy towards the back, towards the, the butt end. Hmm. So if Could you, you put it in the middle of the scabbard, you're going to be carrying it. with. You the, need to find your center and put your well, handle you, there. If you did it and found your balance point and then just <laughs> yeah. just get it in there. and then so Pretend you put, you're making a knife and that you want it to, to balance on your finger. So well, then when you, put your, when you put your rivets on... Probably put a liner on the top of it so it doesn't scratch your scope, you scope on it. Just over that part of it. Just do a really nice job setting your rivets where they are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the scabbard, do what you want to. Construct it how oh, willy-nilly you want to. But on the rifle, on the scope part and the handle part, yeah. really take your time with make that it, part. Make the rivets nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if anybody would like to look up the article on Jeff, it is SGF, so the abbreviation for Springfield, citizen.org and then you need to find the link for deaths and then lives remembered and then it'll be under Jeff Tando those are a pallet oh so we have to there's like three POs so we gotta ride it one pallet so it hasn't been broken open yet well it pops off but unless you really want to dig okay we'll get it later so sorry guys you don't have the preview now for that I mean you guys just tell them to go out there in the cold and get it (laughs) yeah if you just make me go and freeze my butt off no we'll get I don't know what others they were there's like purple. That's the good ones. Well, there's multiple purples. Oh. Ooh. Are we going to lunch? That's Is why I was doing the hand gesture. That's what well, I figured. <laughs> okay. That's, that, that was his whole purpose of being here. All right, you can go. You can go lunch. There's the old man. I got to tell you too. one bit of useless information because it's so cold. We've They're been shutting at- down Devil's Tower. They're shutting down Devil's yeah. Tower, so the devil will no longer have a roost. He has no place no, to go. No roost for the devil anymore. <laughs> On that note, join us tomorrow for live shopping. There's going to be some purples. There's going to be some blue oil tan. There's going to be some blue shark. There's going to be some yellow oil tan. I don't know what else. Some probably elephant nothing. pieces. Probably nothing else. Some hair on. We'll probably take we'll the rest. Some rugs. The rest of that Facebook stuff that didn't sell, we'll just bring one tell and we'll have 129 and 159 rugs. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll just get rid of it. It's been a few days, right? No, Kevin's not dead. Kevin's outside the door. Still Kevin oh. wants to go to lunch. Hey, just in case, Denny, just in case you don't end up making it in because the weather or something, look at this box that I made. Oh, that's the one you're... Yeah, I made a box, wow. guys. And Chris wrapped that pendant, Beautiful. but he doesn't like it. But why doesn't he like it? I don't know, cause cause he's a perfectionist and it's not perfect, and he was rushed. How long can he make him stand here while he looks at other things? <laughs> <laughs> Justin was looking at everything else in the room. I, I was. That's beautiful. So we were noticing on the pieces, Liz, mm-hmm. 
when we were laying Denny's thing out here, how much the wall doesn't glare back to it to change the color of the product that we have on the table with it being darker now. Yeah. What do you think? Beautiful. Little, same time. Little. Same time on Friday. All the video the video times are going to change. Just what we're going to be yeah. doing. Good job. Blue shark. And then, oh, and then I did this, the shell, and I did it all funky. Yeah. You were telling me about that. Mm -hmm. It came out good. I really love it. Blue shark's a little bit different than the yeah. orange and red shark. I had the had. line, my center line that I drew went past it, and so I needed to cover up my center line, so I just put the little thing. Uh, here's the box. It's complicated stitching, too. Oh, my gosh. And then, so when I did the corners, because I did it all, you know, with in one stitch line. But when I did the sides, I couldn't go up and then back down because they would have two rows. So I had to go up with one thread and then sew back down with the same thread. And then there were some times that, like, I would get off on my holes and I would have to, and it just wasn't, there was, like, a couple corners. And I was like, what is happening? Oh, were you sharing the, <laughs> were you sharing the length there? It was no, fine. I was just letting it I was. My I edges you. could be better. I hand sanded them, but they, yeah. but they're fine. They look good. Yeah. I was excited. I was excited that they fit together. Oh, oh yeah, and that's... then it also like, I mean, it sits really well. Oh, yeah. Like you can put, and then you can put it inside on this side. So like, it'll just be open. How cute is that? If you like conglomerations of videos, Anyways. welcome to Wednesday. Yeah. December twenty first. I was pretty happy with it. That's okay, so now I have to go. Okay. Okay. I didn't that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. All right, what else you got, Denny? Nothing? I don't have it. Bye again, guys. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming in and visiting on our new set day. Of course. That's all we got. That's what's going to, uh, if you want to, I'm probably going to go find the leather and do that for the Twitch after party. But I love the new set. I'm glad you guys like it, too. I was worried what you guys were going to say, so... See you Friday.